So I wanted to record a really quick video about the Vivor uh, pitcher pump with the stand. Um, I didn't see any videos on YouTube for this pump at all. Um, just some quick little clips on Amazon from people that had bought this. Um, and I just wanted to let you all know my thoughts on it real quick and why I replaced that with this because um, I don't have water here at this property I'm in. Um, well, I don't know where the original well was and I need water to burn wood. I did a lot of chopping of wood this is wood over there I'm going to save to burn in a stove. And I needed to be able to have water put out the fire, put out the burn barrel, and spread around. So I installed a shallow well, watched a lot of YouTube videos about it. And every video has this pump as the one they use. This particular one is the water source pump. I got that for $49 from uh, Menards. Well, it takes forever when you use this pump it takes forever to fill a bucket of water or a gallon, a container, whatever you're trying to fill. If you look at this, the handles on these, the Vivor is much longer than the pitcher pump, the, the water source and the container itself that the water comes out of is much longer on the Vivor than it is on the water source. Also, this has a spout where this has like a trough and just put in the Vivor. As you can see, I dressed it up a little bit with um, some copper um, paint, Rust-Oleum copper paint. Um, I saw a guy on um, a review on Amazon that had sprayed his gold and black and I thought, wow, that looks good and, you know, dressed it up. And I said, why don't I do this? So I just screwed this in, put some um, dope on the pipe. I, my pipe is a little bit long, so I have to either pound it in a little bit more. I'm going to build that base up. But just wanted to show you, I wish I had a, kept this on to show you all how this, just getting water out of this little bitty thing is crap. When you pump this handle you get a, a, a large amount of water and, and maybe you know you guys might have a concern about my flow I haven't used this picture I've only come down to this property like once every two weeks so I haven't really established a really good flow of water out of this since I put it in but now with this I was able to fill a five gallon bucket up in like maybe a minute or two with this pump versus that crap. So nothing wrong. This works if you want to buy it. It's a pretty pump. It will give you the nostalgia if you're looking for that. If you just have a little small garden and you need, um, you know, be able to get a cup of water. So fine. But if you need to transport a lot of water or, you know, fill up a lot of water quickly and you don't want to overexert yourself, this is the pump I think you should start off with. It's 150 bucks. Some people have problems with rusting. I did a semi-gloss overspray, and I'm going to come back and do a high-gloss spray. But for now, you know, for 150 bucks, if I'm able to use this for a season or two, I'm satisfied. Um, and you get much more water per push or pump than you do um with the the little red pumps that everybody buys so that's my review um eventually i'm going to talk about how i got this property um fixing my pole barn up into a um little shouse or shed house and i have a vintage camper on this property that i'm going to be rehabbing probably and I got a pond back there that's a mess. So more videos to come. But as far as the pumps you should get, if you're starting out, you can try that. I recommend starting with this one. If you got more money to spend, the Bison pumps, 
those seem to be great this is a shallow well i'm right at like 23 feet maybe a little bit more on this and as far as i'm concerned it's working perfectly so there you go just wanted to post a quick review on this so people who may need to install a shallow well and you know have seen all the videos about the water source pump this will give you a nice little alternative so there you go